Hello and welcome to Joy News at 6. The news is live on Joe 99.7 FM and hits 103.9 FM in Accra. In Kumasi, we are on Love 99.5 FM and over 30 affiliates across Ghana's 16 regions, including Bedarin FM, Bumpurgu, Kelam Radio Bato, Kaskia FM, Techiman and Radio Wawa. Get radio, TV and online content on the MyJoyOnline.com interactive app for Android and iOS devices. Coming up, WAEC to review scripts of over 22,000 candidates amid allegations of mass cheating in the 2023 basic education certificate examination as entire results of 42 candidates are cancelled. I see a decline in the number of students whose entire subject results were cancelled from 73 to 41. And I also see another decline in the number of students who had some of their subject results cancelled. Also, Parliament's minority intensifies pressure on Health Minister for full disclosure on controversial dialysis contract amid Kalibu teaching hospitals accumulated debt in business. Some real estate developers justify high cost of homes, attributing it to rising infrastructure expenses and CD depreciation. We've got details on the Joy Business Report. A later defeated presidential aspirant, Kwabne Japan, wants all Joslin to be Dr. Balmuse running mate to stop mounting pressure on the flag bearer. Um, I, I think we should allow him the latitude, you know, instead of trying to I impose things on him and make it, the, the, you know, the main issue at stake in our politics right now. I am Amir Sinyamiche Thompson. Please stay for details. And the West African Examinations Council, WIC, is investigating the scripts of more than 22,000 candidates in what the council described as mass cheating in the 2023 Basic Education Certificate Examination, BECE. Over 600,000 candidates from over 18,000 participating schools entered the examination this year. In a statement, the council said it detected several cases of irregularity during the examination and marking of scripts. My colleague Elton Brovic joins me in studio with more details. Elton, what is the fate of these students? So the council says that a script of 22,270 students were affected. According to WAIC, they have already done some investigations. However, it will need to further scrutinize their script for reported cases of mass cheating. Their results may be cancelled or released based on the outcome of the investigation. So their fate hangs in the balance pending the completion of their investigations. Well, the council has already cancelled some papers already, hasn't, haven't they? Similar investigations earlier led to the cancellation of subject results of 312 school candidates and three private candidates for bringing foreign materials, namely prepared notes, test books, and printed materials into the examination hall or colluding with other candidates. Cancellation of entire results of 41 school candidates and one private candidate for possession of mobile phone in the examination hall. Mm. Withholding of subject results of 180 school candidates and four private candidates for various suspected offenses. And then withholding of entire results of 110 school candidates and two private candidates for various suspected offenses. Thank you very much, Elton. Now, how does this year's provisional results compare to last year's figures? Executive Director of the Africa Education Watch, Kofi Asari, says although the, some progress was made with the number of entire results cancelled, there's much to be desired. I see a decline in the number of students whose entire subject results were cancelled from 73 to 41. And I also see another decline in the number of students who had some of their subject results cancelled. From 416 to 312, that is great. When we hear the conclusion from the huge number of students whose results are being scrutinized for cheating, the 22,000, it will give us a, a definitive outcome. Kofi Asari is executive director of the Africa Education Watch. Now the minority in parliament is piling pressure on the health minister to furnish the house with full details of the controversial contract with a private firm for the supply of dialysis machines and accessories that has left the Kolibu Teaching Hospital in debt. Under the contract, South African company Fresenius Medical Care FMC supplies the dialysis machines for free, but the teaching hospital must procure all accessories exclusively from the company. The minority alleges the company is charging above market price for the accessories. Health Minister Kwekwaji Manmanu told Parliament yesterday the contract is being reviewed. The Kolebu Teaching Hospital in consultation with the Minister of Health 
has initiated discussions with FMC for review of the current contract for more flexible payment options and a more structured supply of consumables to avoid excessive delays and to ensure delivery of the outstanding 45 dialysis machines and auxiliary equipment. But speaking to Joe News, a minority member on Parliament's Health Committee and former Chief Whip Mohamed Muntaka Mubarak has demanded to see the contract before any review is undertaken. Even though not seen contract, we are certain we are told it's part of the contract. Is that it's only that company that can give us those consumables. They are giving us a machine that they are the only people who can uh, give the consumables. And I said that that is where the problem is. Because that of Confanochi, they are able to buy in the open market. That of Brekum, they are able to buy in the open market. That of uh, KNUSC and others, they are able to buy those consumables uh, in the open market. And, and I can assure you, well, I, 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 even though I'm no longer in the leadership, but I want to believe that those of us in the minority uh, caucus will insist that let's see the, the contract before we even talk about the review of, 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 of the fees and charges. Mohamed Muntaka Mubarak there. Now lawyers for Asin North MP James Judge Equation say they are considering their options against the High Court judge overseeing their client's criminal trial. They accuse the judge of unfairness and arbitrary conduct. The MP is facing charges of alleged perjury and forgery. He's currently in Canada for emergency health care. His lawyers claim, despite his illness, the judge has been unjust, ordering the continuation of the trial. Baba Jamal is Deputy Director of Legal Affairs for the NDC. Mr. Tachukota made it clear that her arbitrariness is, is staggering. It's not, it's, not, it's not fair to us. I mean, all these things were said, and it is on record. It's not as if we always insisted that whatever we say is put on record. We, 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 we take the necessary action where necessary. We are here to consult with our, our other uh, legal team. We will take the necessary action. Well, Deputy Attorney General Alfred Chiyabwa has dismissed the claims. We have to go on with the matter because our witness had been in the box since July 2022. One year, five months or four months, one witness in the witness box for one year, four months. And we think that we should still countenance such a practice. No, if they won't take it up on the pillars to say, maybe they think that we are ready for them. As I say, we come to court to speak and talk law and nothing else. Now to some politics, former flag bearer aspirant Kwabne Japan wants all jostling to be running mates to Dr. Mahmoudou Baumia to desist from mounting excessive pressure on him. At least five MPs and others have been named as potential candidates to partner with the current vice president with some of them actively lobbying key party people to ensure they are selected ahead of the 2024 elections. But speaking in an interview with Raymond Aqua on Affront, the former general secretary in Insisted, if allowed to make his own decision, Dr. Baumia would choose the right person. The terrain is very wide, mm. and the flag bearer would decide on who he thinks is appropriate to help him get the job done. We need to retain power in 2024, and I'm sure he knows what to do. Um, I, I think we should allow him the latitude. Now, Energy Minister Dr. Matthew Pokopempa says the Kufuatu government has made history managing the petroleum sector in Ghana. According to him, whereas other countries have for the past years been queuing for fuel due to global economic challenges, the situation has been different in the country. Dr. Pokopempa further emphasized that Ghanaians are now enjoined forgetfully and suspended the agitations over fuel prices because the prices have seen a significant decline for after witnessing a sharp rise. Thanks to the good work MPA is doing, because whereas in the last two years, three years, even European countries shot petrol and there were queues and prices went all over the place, we in Ghana didn't suffer that. So we moved from 22.7 Ghana cities per liter to low as low as almost half, 30 cities around this time. Sometimes people forget that when it got to that stage, People were even planning demonstrations to the Ministry of Energy. But now that it has halved, people are enjoying it forgetfully. Dr. Matthew Pokupempe is Energy Minister. Now, residents of Bumkatamanzo in the Greater Accra region are raising concerns over the inadequate water supply in various parts of the municipality, despite efforts by the Ghana Water Company to enhance access to clean water in select communities. A significant portion of the municipality continues to grapple with limited access. Correspondent Elvis Washington has more on this report. 
Bonkatamanso, a large municipality in the Greater Accra region, faces ongoing challenges with access to clean water in several communities. Areas like Aviation, New Jerusalem No. 7 and 8, Peace Land, Zion City and Mexico City, among others, have no option but to rely on water tankers and tricycles for their water supply. Here is what some residents have to say. I've lived in this area almost 10 years now. We rely mostly on the rain. So if it doesn't rain, we don't get water. Here is the ginger. I couldn't get water to wash it. I'm preparing beans. I'm waiting for the water since yesterday. Elvis Washington's report that's it for the bulletin in our top story, Wyeck. To review scripts of over 22,000 candidates amid allegations of mass cheating in the 2023 BEC. I am Amisi Thompson. Business is next on the Super Morning Show. Joy 99.7 FM. Joy 99.7 FM.